Okay, brother, uh, this guy Roe Manchin says, how to drink and stay lean? How do I drink and stay so lean? Finn Genetics, number one. Number two, I follow a strict diet uh, every day, mostly. I got hybrid nutrition, writing my diet now. And uh, I just don't eat like shit. Eat like a bodybuilder, drink like an alcoholic. And this is what you get. Huckman Barbell. Okay, Joe 182, how do you deal with hangovers? Well, uh, Pappy taught me a long time ago, and my uncle Midigan um, used to say, uh, what do you say? A few beers, fix your eye up. few beers, exactly. Have another beer in the morning, and Pedialyte. I try to drink Pedialyte, the baby drink, before I go to bed, during bed, and uh, the next morning, and then a beer or a Bloody Mary. Jason, FB74, most beers drank at a time. Uh, probably one of my biggest feats of strength was it, I was in Texas about five months ago with Michael Hearn, and uh, I drank 50 beers at the Icon Meals block party during the morning and day. And then that night I met them all up at the Destination Dallas. And they couldn't believe I came in there and they said I was going to bench 500 pounds after drinking 50 beers. And uh, I did. So 50 beers, 500 pounds, that's probably by far my biggest feat of strength. Nick Sen, Crop 15, how long has it taken you to be able to drink Tito's like it's water? Uh, I don't know. 36 years, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure. Mix it up a little. Mix it up a little, <laughs> right? <laughs> you got any other questions in there, Pappy? I'm trying to find them here right now. Assessed on the cowboy. Uh, they let you bench shirtless? Question mark. The fuck's that supposed to mean? I don't know. They let me bench shirtless where? Uh, what's your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni or pepperoni and bacon. Sam's Pizza, Sycamore, Illinois. What's the best plateau breaker for bench? Floor presses. Love floor presses and overhead pressing. And dips. Tell them the story of the old boy named Nantucket. I have no idea. Best way to bake Brent's plateau. I think we already had Jesus, it. Jesus, Pappy. Uh, Are you going the wrong way, you idiot? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Damn it, you're right. <laughs> Sorry, brother. <laughs> best way to get that rush. I thought you were going to say best way to take a bench plateau again. <laughs> best... Way to get that rush? I don't know. You just go in the go in a different fucking zone, man. You just put your head through something and you're fine. You go block everything out. Don't think of anything. I never thought of anything when I lifted. Nothing at all. What's your heaviest total? Twenty twenty eight, and close to two thousand with sleeves on. What's it like going from your pec injury to benching five hundred pounds again? Greatest thing ever. People said I would never bench bench again or bench my body weight again, and then I go in and bench over five hundred pounds eight months later. Fuck you. Do you consider yourself an alcoholic? No, I never have. Alcoholics go to meetings, right, Pappy? That's what I was always I mean, told. do you consider yourself an alcoholic? No, alcoholics go to meetings. Exactly, so we're not alcoholics. Yeah, that's right. I like that, brother. Yeah. How much do you squat, deadlift? Best squat, 800 pounds, 810, 804 in competition. Best deadlift is like 7, 780, 785. Why vodka over whiskey? Because uh, if I drank whiskey, I'd probably uh, be in prison. How could you possibly drink vodka, LOL? Mm, I don't know, because I enjoy it. <laughs> I have a pec minor tear in one shoulder and some tendinopathy. As I know how much it takes to make a comeback like that. He wants to know how much it takes. It takes everything. Fuck. I don't even know what that word tendinopathy means, but I fucking drove, what, six hours one way after work to Paducah, Kentucky to get a fucking PRP shot once a month for a year straight every month. And then all the rehab and shit on top of that, so. Monkey D. Owen says, what has had the biggest impact on your life, professional wrestling or lifting? Professional wrestling by far, right? What would you say? I'd say uh, pro wrestling probably. Yeah. Well, I don't, maybe lifting too. Well. They're both pretty up there. I mean, you've been watching pro wrestling since you was three years old. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I can remember being a Hulk Hogan, Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Hopefully I'm training with Hulk Hogan this just July. 
Super not so cool guy says, how old are you? 36. And my birthday's coming up and there's going to be a huge sale at HelpFinBarbell.com. Biggest sale we ever had. Uh, B. De La Paz says, do you do any cardio? Cardio is for pussies. I knew that was coming. <laughs> are you allowed to drink before a meat lift? Am I allowed? Who the fuck? Who's going to stop me? Right? Right. Hey, I'm out. You're not allowed. Bullshit. Hey, you saw my last fucking meat. I fucking drank Tito's. Went out there and benched over 500 pounds. And I had the world's strongest dwarf slap me in the fucking face. When do you come to the East Coast? Jay Monkey wants to. I will come to the East Coast when a gym or a bar pays me to come out there. That's usually how it works. If I go anywhere, I'm usually paid. Did you ever lift at Martin's Gym in Montgomery? Never heard of it. I did lift in Montgomery before at uh, Jack Hardcore. Three exercises to be jacked and tan. Well, bench, overhead press, squat, or deadlift, and then get in the sun. What is it? What you're drinking? You are crazy as strong. Big inspiration. What is it that I'm drinking? Yeah. Probably beer. Uh, the only thing I drink is beer, water, protein shakes, and Monster. And vodka. <clears throat> I don't drink anything else. Never have. Nice one. And Pedialyte once in a while. Do you do any static holds and bench training? And if so, what benefits do you see from it? No, I do not. And your wife's calling you. Let you know we're trying to do a YouTube video for Christ's sakes. I don't know. She's going to come out here and probably ruin it. Yes. <laughs> what the hell's going on out there? You got anything else, Smarty Pappy? Uh, this one guy says you're so much stronger than Mark Bell. That's well, very true. The man, the myth, the legend. Country Thunder legend. That's about all the questions I got here, I think, uh, Huck Finn. All right, well, let's wrap it up, Pappy. Well, let's wrap her up. You got any last words? Nah, yeah, not really. Just a uh, few beers picks right up. You got a hangover. That's Pat yeah. Manning. They probably that. want to know, yeah, because you're a professional. You've been doing it for 66 yeah, years. I've been doing it for 66 years. Yeah. yeah. Now, what is your goal? Don't you have a goal? You want me to, first off, you want me to sing at your funeral, correct? Yes. Oh, yeah. What would you want me to sing? Uh, I sang Dixie. Yeah. Yeah, by uh, Dwight Yoke. Right, well, I'll be singing that for sure. There's no doubt I'll be singing that. I'm a terrible singer. Then I have a goal of a million push-ups. You want that on your headstone, right? Yes, I do, yeah. Here lies the crazy son bitch that over a million push-ups. Yes, I do. I got, I got 300,000 left or 400,000. Yeah, you got like 600 or 700,000 down. Yeah. It's got them all written down in a book, too. Yeah, they're all written down. They're all verified, so. Yeah, verified push-ups. Yeah, verified push-ups. Yeah. You can get this shirt, that shirt, new hats. Yeah, yeah. HuckFinnBarbell.com. Um, that's about it. Find like Pappy it. on Instagram. Yeah, Parkside 385. Yeah, I like how Pappy has his address as his fucking name. You can either find him on Instagram or his house. Yeah, stop on by. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, you got any last words? Okay, bye. I knew that was coming. Okay, bye.